Hello and welcome back to Hand of Fate. We did the first row last time, so this time we're starting on the Jack of Plague. Ratman. Ah, now, Ratmen are my have swarmed up from the dark worst enemy. I really hate the them. Of You'll see why, probably. They just keep throwing stuff at you. And feast and freak and now, we want to put in... I think I like, I like time heals. Um, they're pretty handy. I'm going to take out Damocles, because I don't think they're very good. It tends to only hit one thing. And I'm going to put in time heals. And... I think everything else I will keep. As for the encounters, we will uh, keep Devil's Wage. I think that must be the one I skipped last time. Local Peasant, Mage Tower, Crucible, Sleep in the Forest, blah, blah, blah. We didn't pass River. River seems like an annoying one because you've got to get like one in four chance of passing it. Uh, so it's a bit crap. I might take it out. I'll put it in Smuggler's Wharf. I want to see what happens with that. And I want to put in Charity. I'll take out Ambush. It's a bit boring, that one. Put in Charity. And Field of Poppies is new. I'm not sure what that is. We will keep Dead Man's Gorge. Ah, I'll take out Maze of Traps. No, we'll take out Mr. Lionel, because now we start with a shield. We don't need that. Uh, and we'll put in Field of Poppies. And I think that's good. Good, and we'll start Jack of Plague. Our Lord of Plague does like to rub your nose. Rat men and angry mob. Traveling travelers, traveling, traveling travelers. Okay, so he's added a bunch of rat men, uh, which are horrible. And he's added some shops and some angry mobs, which is actually an incredibly annoying card. Um, and we'll go to the first one, and it is the Maiden. Oh, hello, Maiden. I think this time we will ask you for to be blessed, because now you can do that. And it gives a blessing card straight away, which is always nice. Critical Strike, the player inflicts triple damage against foes who are stunned. Wow, you don't often stun people though, maybe I should start doing that more. Oh well. Thank you, Maiden. And Goblin, <laughs> go away! I do love Goblins. <laughs> I hate them! I haven't seen their like in years. Three of them. Excellent. And the monster card. So if they get my shield, I am going to have to go for it. Straight away. And they haven't got my shield. Good. They have got my weapon, maybe. What's he got? I can't tell what he's got. Oh, he's got my axe. Okay, it's not too bad, actually. I'll go for the... Uh, oh, God, what do I do here? I never know which ones to go for first. I guess the goblins. And you've just got to keep dodging the other guys. I want my food. I can't lose my food. That's bad. Die, goblin! <laughs> Did I get him? I think I got him. There's the other two. Come here, stupid gobbos. Ugh. Die! Did I get him? Yeah, I got him. Hey, last one, come on, I can get this guy. I can do this, stun him, and then hit him for triple damage. Yeah! Blam! Oh, take that, stupid goblin! That's the worst part, right? There's gold on the floor there, but I can't pick it up because the, the thing ends. That's always annoying. That always really gets me annoyed. <laughs> it's like, I can get it, it's right there! But we did okay there. We did alright, we got our stuff back. Twisted Canyon. Oh, it's not, it's not, this is the one with the weapon, isn't it? Okay. Let's see what we get, hopefully. I would very much like to get the Frost Sword, I think. Um, and it is a Desperate Measures again. Always get that bloody mace. Nah, it's still better than what we've got. Okay. And we'll hitch a ride. A horse is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You do not seem to have the oh. temperament for friends. This is annoying. Even <laughs> the animal. Down. Maze of traps. Oh. Each of these cards is I thought I took that out. From your memories. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Screw it. I created them. Risk it. But only in the abstract. It is the importance you feel. 
Okay, so we've got a you've got to dive through these. And then we've got to run through the next ones. Dive! Run! Oh, the pain! I don't know how you get past that. Oh, you got to stop in the middle. Okay, that's easy enough, actually. <laughs> uh, oh, spikes! Ow, I rolled straight into them. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to run through these and then dive and then that should do. Oh, yeah, did it. I only lost 20 health, which isn't too bad. We've get we got a lot of treasure for doing that. It's just always a bit risky because sometimes you can just really screw up and lose all your health. And we got... A healer's ring. Whenever I receive, I get one. Whenever I receive healing, I get one gold. That's pretty nice. Happy life. I doubt things will end that way. All right. We we'll use a lot of food going around this one because it's. You know, keep going back. Helpful priest. Again, to give us a blessing. Uh, half our food. Oh, I, I don't want to. No, I can't. I got to. I got. I don't have enough food. Sorry, priest. We'll go up this time. Stairs. Um. This was the end. No, I want to, I, I don't want to miss like the uh, the land lover, so I'll, I'll have to waste a bit more food. Ah, it's a traveling jeweler. Okay, well at least we can buy some more food. Let's see what they sell. What do you sell, Mr. Jeweler? You sell Ah, these things. Uh No, I don't need any of those too bad. That'd be nice, but I don't have enough money. Can I sell anything? Oh I can. Sell my axe for forty-two gold. I kind of need all three of these though. Oh, I was about to just buy some food. I can only buy a little bit anyway. Should be enough to keep us going now. Okay, back to the stairs. One more step down, and we may see the end. Ah, of big long corridor, set unskippable. Stairs. Traveling healer. Um, we can buy more, more gold, I guess. More uh, food, rather. Well, at least they, I guess they heal. Uh, they heal curses. Yeah, and wounds. But they also sell food, which is always good for us. We'll just buy it all. No, we can't afford it. We buy as much as we can, which we have. Nom 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 food nom nom. This is a sleep in the forest. Spirits roaming the dark. While sleeping in the forest, you are jolted awake by a voice calling your name. You see a vaguely human-shaped ghost, ghost, <laughs> rushing towards you. You are quick to your feet, weapon already in hand. The ghost stops abruptly, hand signaling that it means no harm. Its voice is weak and distant. You forget me already. Has this place already corrupted you so? Uh, lower my weapon. I should not be here. I fear his servants already know where I am. For a brief moment, the ghost's pale eyes feel achingly familiar. Please come home soon. You blink and the ghost is gone. At your feet is a bag of food. Ah, and I get a token. So that's another story we can continue when we get the token. Cool. Take the token. It is yours. What's next? A winding trail. Well then, how will you deal with so, Oh no! The tree and the monsters! Monsters! Two monsters! Uh, weapons bristle from the trees around you. The wielder's face is obscured by overgrowth. Give us all your gold or die! I've got nine gold. It's not a lot, is it? I'll give him a gold. Screw it. Saves me fighting them. They fought me anyway! <laughs> Total jerks! I guess they're like, that's not enough. I want your skid as well. Oh well. Let's see that now they're all firing like throwing knives at me, it's really gets a bit harder. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> There's lots of blocking and dodging going on here. I find the combat in this game actually really fun, surprisingly. Uh, it gets it gets more more complicated as well later on. What is next? Oh, what happened there? Did we get two game? We did. We got some loot. We got a I'm sure you agree. armor of cold. Nearby enemies are immediately slowed as chilling effects of the armor take hold. Ah, oh, nice. Definitely gonna equip that. And we get 25 gold. Hooray. Ah, here we go. This is the new the new landlubber one. Smuggler's Wharf. Let's see what what happened. For a token now. So the port is uh, where all the boats go missing. Norwich Port is little more than wooden planks sticking out of the water. It's a den of in inequity. Visitors and inquirers are obviously not welcome. You spend your time getting acquainted with the workings of the wharf, looking for avenues to gain information. You have found three ways you might find out about the missing ships. Steal some logs, bribe a worker, or help a captain drown his sorrows. Well, I think I'm going to go and have a drink with the captain. In what passes for a bar in this shanty town, you find captains. You find a ship's captain drowning her sorrows. They must be frightful sorrows because she's drowning them in Dulcian brandy. I guess that's quite strong. You pull up a stall next to her, uh, and while inquiring about her misfortune, attempt to find out what she may know about the missing boats. You can tell the captain knows something, but she's not parting with it yet. However, she seems pleased to have company. Continue to drink with the captain. Yes. Drink more. You gulp down another small glass of terrible, terrible brandy. The captain is merry and regales you with stories of her adventures upon the high seas, but nothing regarding the recent boat disappearances. You're feeling the effects of the, po of the powerful brandy, but you, s you still have your wits about you. Continue to drink with the captain. Do we keep going? Yes, yes we do. You gulp down another small glass of terrible, terrible brandy. In her drunkenness, the captain reveals far too much about herself, yet sadly nothing about the missing ships. You are lost in a fuzzy, warm haze of drinking. I'm going to lose all my money, aren't I? You don't notice a local pickpocket really if you have some gold. Oh, only four, that's not too bad. Let's keep drinking! Let's get really drunk! You gulp down another small glass of terrible, terrible brandy. After many drinks, the captain starts to reveal what she knows. The captain only reveals one thing. High binder. And will say nothing more on the matter. He plans to head back to Carlo at the landlocked labber and see what he can do with the information you gleaned. And I got the token! So the next part is now available next time. Awesome. I look forward to it. It's a good story so far. Dead Man's Gorge. I'm this sure is a fight, I think. Draw one monster easy. card. Two skulls. Easy enough. I think the red thing is like the difficulty level, so it's like difficulty two now, because we are on level two. Uh, so yeah, they they got shields, I guess. Maybe I think they had shields before. Maybe they just do a lot more damage. It still seems pretty damn easy, honestly. But I have got a mace. Look at that torso flying away. <laughs> okay, done. Three gains. Nice. That's a good, good amount of gain. Equipment. Helm of reflection. Upon reflecting a projectile, this helm creates a small force explosion. Wow. Well, let's, uh, let's just equip that for sure. And I get some food. And next card is... The rat men! Oh, I hate these guys! But actually, with that reflection helmet, this should be pretty easy. Because these guys shoot, like, constantly. But if I get, if I, if I cause an explosion whenever I reflect it, they will get hit and blow up and die. That's my plan. Uh, let's just see if it works. Here we go. First one, yeah, explosion. Second one, explosion. Oh, it's actually working amazingly well. Take that, rat shits. First rat down. There we go. Oh wow, those explosion damage was actually quite a lot. Um, and the only thing about rats is when you stand near their dead corpses, you get poisoned and lose like loads of health automatically. It's very annoying. They're very annoying. <laughs> but I got food card, uh, which is free food. Nicely done. Next card is 
forest escape so I can leave the forest. Roaming ever forward, hunting for the truth. Hush. Okay, so now we're out of the forest. We've got a big, big dungeon to go through. We've got Devil's Choice here. A cloaked devil appears in your path. I'm here to test your might, so-called hero. Okay, this is the one where you choose your foe. I'm going to go for the Three of Dust. Okay, sometimes he will... Um, I, I pick the one with the highest number because sometimes he will say, Ah, you want that, do you? Well, you'll have the other two instead, so you got to fight them both. So... This is the easiest way of doing it, I think. Right. Throw a thing at me, guys. Come on, throw a knife at me. I want to reflect it. No, they're not throwing anything. They're not, they're not, they're not playing ball. They just want to die instead. I look pretty badass right now. Holy God. A really shiny helmet. <laughs> so we did it and we get three gains. Ah, Frostfang! Now what's better, that or the mace? I'm gonna go for the Frostfang because it looks fun. You. Some more food and some more food. Cool. Next is the Travelling Tinker. 46 gold, might as well go to the shop and see what I can spend. I can always sell that mace actually. What can we buy? We can buy Fleet Cuffs, increases the wearer's movement speed. Uh, whenever they play against food, they will receive extra food. A huge hammer. Or the better shield. None of these are crazy good. I guess these Fleet Cuffs could be good. I'll buy them. Faster is always better. Combat ready. I've got to achieve. <laughs> One piece of each type of equipment. And you're ready to take on the uh, i got loads of food. Okay, let's just stay with this. This is fine. Right, next card. Let's go up. Traveling jewel. I didn't need another shop, guys. Jeez. Pass it by. Angry mob. Oh, I hate this one. So quick to anger. As you approach That's a small town, an angry mob of peasants marches forth and confronts you. The rat man have eaten all our food, my lord. We're starving. We demand food. I'm going to give them... Half my food. Oh, bless you, boy. You saved the village. Oh, I got a blessing. Oh, actually, wasn't that bad? I that a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that. <laughs> Last time, I uh, I didn't give them anything, and they uh, took all my food and all my gold. So I was they just starving to death. So More rat men. Prepare yourself. A four of plague. Uh, I've got a new ability, weapon ability. Okay, so I can freeze them like this. Nice. Holy crap, this is fast. Oh, that rat won't leave. Ow! I couldn't block that. Bloody rats. There we go. Took a lot of damage there. I was poisoned for a lot of it, I think. We've done uh, two rat men now. We've got some more food. Ten food. Wow, we've got all our food back from the villagers then. And we've got a... Ah, the check of play. Here we go. We're at the boss. We missed a bunch of cards, but it doesn't matter too much. And blood. Uh, okay, here we go. So, he's going to have rats with him. And he's a, himself is a big rat, I think. Let's see. Ah, Rat Man. Yeah, there he is. Mr. Rat himself, Jack of Plague. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be painful, I guess. Uh, what? Do I have an artifact? I don't have an artifact. I do have two blessings. Oh, ow! Got oh, shot straight away. I do have the reflective helmet, so that's going to be good against those two shooting me. Oh, I missed. Oh, my God. Okay. It's getting hit here. Here we go. Explosion! Look, my feet are like on fire. Oh shit, they keep shooting me. Look at this. So many. I'm gonna have to take one of these guys out. 
I like the explosion when it, they shoot me there. That's good. That's really good. Here we go. Watch this. Blam! Blam! Just Jack left. Let's freeze him. Give me a throw. Oh, he doesn't freeze. Jerkhead. <laughs> he dies. <laughs> he died pretty easily. There we go. We've done the Jack of Plague. Look at my face. How weird is that? Right, so... The queens and kings of the rat kind have lost a child here today. We see what tokens we get. What do we got? What do we got? Your reward. We got... Asleep at the inn. And we've got the next land number one, which is... The Landlock Labber 2. Cool. And for this... Rat, oh, we got uh, Berserker Armor, Scorching Zeal, Culling the Ratmen, King of Dust, Devil's Carnival, and Ember Town Hero. That's some new stuff we can play with. And what's this one for? This is for. Oh, it's defeating Ratman. Ratman hunting, hunting Ratmen, and hunt Ratmen. Um, oh, God, they're locked as well. So they're going to be always in it for a while. Uh, I guess they pissed off I killed their, their, their chap. There we go, guys. That's the uh, the Ratman boss. And we'll come back next time for the next level. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.